Hi guys, I know it's been a while, so oh, here's another video. Uh, so, a few people asked me how I pause my dreadnoughts, so I'm going to try uh, and do one on camera, show you how I do it. Uh, so, what I've done, this is a picture on my, on my phone anyway, so I printed it out. So what we're going to try and do is do a similar pose to that. The dreadnought won't do some extreme pauses, but we're going to get as close to this as we possibly can. So that's your reference. So we're gonna put this to one side so we can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we'll put it there, we'll move these across like this. There you go. So I've already cleaned up the parts, the only bits I've left on the sprue. I'll show you how to cut the shoulder pods off because a lot of people say they get a gap or they cut and you get a big chunk missing out your shoulder pods. So I'll tell you to that. The bits we aren't gonna use is this pipe. Oh, maybe up, this pipe for the shield. Uh, it, it restricts the movement of the sword and stuff and I'm not really a fan of it so we're going to swap that out because I've got spare weapons I'm just going to stick a bolt on it focus because it, I think it looks better so you've got your leg, leg, leg joints waist, groin, shoulder pads, arms we'll cut these off when we need them because so, they're left and right uh, I've already gone ahead and magnetised the joints just easier beforehand uh right that's it so first of all i think what we'll do is we'll show you how to cut these off easier so what you want to do you want to cut it at the top here like this then you flip it over now most people just get the great big clippers and go click no that's wrong you're just going to take a chunk of it so what you want to do you'll see this this chunk here so you want to cut this off at an angle like this so now you've got that at an angle so now you want to cut this down in little bits so you get a little bit that and it comes off then you get your sanding stick <laughs> Clean it off. There we go. One shoulder pad. We'll do the other one as well. So again, cut it at the top. Here. And a bit. So you've got this bit. So I'm going to cut this bit at an angle. So I'm doing it through camera this. So like this. So you're left with a chunk like that. Focus. So what we're going to do, focus. There we go, focus. So we're going to cut a bit at a time, so we'll cut that bit off. Last little bit there. Sanding stick. There we go, Just two shoulder pads cleaned up. So right next is this this picture. We we'll get this picture. So in this picture, he's jumping up on one leg. So this foot here is pointing down. So what you, what I'm going to use on this is this foot, which has got the angle on it. So you've got left and right of these. So this one's got going to be that foot with the angle on it. The other side looks like it's bent as well. So we're going to use exactly the same foot on the other side. So what we're going to do is we'll, uh, we're going to go up one side of the leg, do this position, one side of the leg, and we're going to along his groin, and then we're going to do this bit. Because if you try and do it all at once, it just it goes all wrong, goes all peat tongue. So we're going to go up this leg. So what we want to do first is we've got this base. So according to that picture, he's up on one leg. So and it's twisting. Out. so this this part of the foot this foot is twisting this way as you can see so you want so we want to get as much movement as we can like this so on the back it's only so far you can go up and down so we want to get as extreme as we can so like this so first of all we're going to tack glue so we get this so oh by the way these are left and right long side to the outside <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to tack glue it. So we're going to put a tiny bit of glue here. 
glue's blocked, wounded. That's it. There we go. Right. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue here. Oh, a bit too much. You can get a cotton bud and wipe that off. Here we go. Cotton bud. Wipe a bit off. We don't need that much. So, so what we're going to do, get this so it kicks over there. So it's like this. So I kick it over there. So while we've got that, like that, activator, I use this stuff. Just hit it. So it's like this. So like that. So we'll let that set for a minute. So what I want to do now is we're going to glue this foot to this base as you as your starting point. So I'm going to put some on here. So as this is jump, this is jumping up, this is kicking over a little bit. So you want to angle it. It's hard to show you on here. Move the base. So you want to kick it to one side a little bit. So he's up on his toe. Kick it to one side. So like that. Activate that. <coughs> so we've got this now. So he's up on one he's up on one toe. So this is the next part. So according to this picture, according to this picture, his legs straight. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna give it full straightness, but you wanna kick this over as well a little bit. So this you see is you, oh, not in the camera for shot. Sure. As you can see this, we're wiggling its joint. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually make sure it angles that way as well. So it's like this, but we're not gonna go straight, whole straight leg, cause for one, it looks daft. <laughs> and for two, yeah, it looks better like that. So we're just gonna kick it to about there. So what we're gonna do, bit of glue here on this corner. Like this. Bit of actuator in here, so it grabs. So here we go. So I'd say about there, so you've got a little bit of movement. So kick it to one side, and then it grabs. Oh, it doesn't grab. <laughs> On my look, try that again. A bit more glue. Right. So, so it's like this. So you don't want. It grabbed it this time, so right. So now we've got this. So now we want his groin. So on here, his groin slightly angled up. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna clean this up first. This is a spur dreadnought I had lying around, as you do. You know what I mean? So I'll probably just take it all apart after I've done this and do something else with it. But so we're gonna put a dab of glue in this corner here. That's all you need. That's too much again. Need a little cotton bud. You put too much in it, it'll grab too hard, and then you're not gonna get it apart. So a little bit of glue in there, like that. Right. So we're gonna activate this edge. So so he's up a bit angled. So I'd kick it like this. Like I say, if you get it wrong, because you've only tack glued it, see that's point, it's wrong, see, you've only tack glued it, so you want to get it so it's level, you know what I mean, so this isn't kicked back, back too far, so, it's still a bit too far back, move it forward a bit, right, so we have this now, so, right, to the side, to the side, Oops. yep, this side, right, here we go. So this leg, this leg here, goes out. You're not obviously not going to get an ex, it is extremer kick because the joints won't let you do it like that. But we're going to kick this out here. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and get that same position. So it's pretty far up, as you can see. So he's got his knee higher up. Oh, his knee higher up and then leg down. So we're going to try and do that. 
So, come into this. His legs high up like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to tack glue this. A bit too much. Tack glue this. Bit of activator. Like this. Oh, can't see. Like this. Oh, stick. Stop. Right, and then his shing leg. So this, obviously, is going to be like this. Like this. Like this. See? So, I'm going to tack glue this one. So here I'm gonna put this like this. Stick. Stick. Why are you no stick? Why are you no stick? So you have this, no? So it's like this. So. What you can do, because it's thingy, you can actually angle this more now because you've got it in a position you want. So you can, because this is only tacked, you can pull this off here. It's just an easy way of playing about with it. So we'll get a bit of glue here, activate that. So now, as we get this, we can mess about where we want this bit now. He wants to go, I reckon he wants to go about there <coughs> as you can see so now on this picture his foot we has got kicked out this way and then down a little bit so we'll do this like that. so we're going to stick a bit of glue Bit of activator. Stick. Not enough glue. Right, wrong spot. Try that again. So, like this. So, there you've got. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. This doesn't look right that to me. So what we're gonna do is let's have a look. Looks like he's gonna stomp on somebody's head at the minute. So I think what we'll do is we'll change this a bit. Yeah, we'll change this and this. So we'll take these bits off. Try that again. He's got his legs in the right position, but pause isn't quite right. So stick this in here. Like so. Put it down. Like this. So we'll try this way and then we'll get this leg. Uh, no. So I'd say that looks better there. So what we'll do, a bit of glue, activate that. So, so. looking a bit better. That one's turning up a bit. Oh, you. It's hard work doing this on camera, looking through a camera doing this. Gotta say. So. Right. I'm gonna leave it like that. This is just. Stick. Right. So, this. So, now. As we've got this, so he's like this. You could actually tilt this foot further up, or this is just me showing you how I do it. 
So on this picture, his body is facing that way and his head's facing this way. So with legs fell off. We'll get this right yet. Yeah? Stay with me folks. Stick. Stay. Stay. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> We're having a nightmare. Try this again. Nothing like a live video, folks. Right. You will stick. It's the last thing I do. You will stick. Nope. I don't want to. Nope. Oh, <laughs> for frog snakes. You will stick. As I was saying, <laughs> his body is going this way and his head's coming this way. So, with these, as you can see, you only have so much movement in this part. And because of this ball socket at the back, you only have so much movement in this part. So, what we're going to do is, I think, let's have a look at his... His hips are going that way, so we're going to put this this way so we can tack glue that on just a tiny bit. Here we go. So we're going to put this over there so it's like this. So I've just put this, I've just tacked it together so I can show you what you guys are doing. So, so what we're going to do, his body's going to be like this. As you can see, he's slightly twisted that way. So, what if we do it that way? No, this way looks better. No, we'll go this way, I think. So, big loop. I'm going to put this. Put this one over here so this tilts that way. And I'm going to tack loop this one. Bit too much glue on that. Right. I'm going to tack loop this one. This way. So, now, you can see you have this. So, now his arms, <coughs> his shoulders slightly rotated back, so it's, on these you've got balls. So, to me, on this picture, this will go slightly backwards like this, as you can see, like this. So, this is not good. Not my day today, at all. Right. Stick. You will stick. There we go. So, same with these. Where am I? Picture. Froggy. Why is that not sticking on there? That's weird. Too much glue. My Google foo. <laughs> My glue foo is failing me today. So 
not sticking to anything. That's weird. Hmm, this is strange. Let's swap glue. Sorry about this, guys. So, see, that's stuck. Yes, I got. Twist it more. Over there. A bit more. Right, so. We've got this. So as I was saying, this wants to go rotate up and the back a bit. So let's have a look at this picture. Yeah, so it wants to rotate it, uh, rotate and up a bit. So we're going to tack glue this. A bit too much. No. You don't want to go too extreme with these because when you put your shoulder pads on. Your shoulder pads don't rotate right either, so so we're gonna stick, kick it out, up and out, something like this. <coughs> so now, where's my bits? Here we go. This one is this arm. Okay. So because he's so far out, we want to kick this to the top here so we're just going to tack glue this as well at the top because his arms as far as it'll go like that. so that's that bit so this is this arm so we want this arm, which is this one. So, cut that off there, that off there. Are you sure that's flat? I'll see what I'm doing. Helps. Right, so, according to this picture, his arms up like this, so because you have got some movement in the hand, you can go in, out, left, up, down. So, we want let's say this there, so look, so look, what's we looking at here? Maybe. Up a bit more. Come on, Moggy, do what you're doing. So this in his hand. So this goes up. Like this. Right. So we're going to tack this. Bit of glue. No, too much. Just pick a bit off. Here. So I'm gonna stick this like this here. Stick. So now we've got this. So now this is gonna come down like this. See? All right. Like this so we're gonna tack this in Glue. 
So we get it right. Oh, let's see, that's further up. Shot. Oh, sorry. My fault. My bad. Oh, for frog snakes. Let's try that again. So, it's it, right? Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Google food was proper failing me. So this wants to go there, like so. Like this. So now we've got this sort of thing. So so what we could do, this wants to come up a bit more, I think that wants to come down a bit more. So a bit like this. So we're getting close. Like I say, there's certain things you can't do with these kits, but this is the way I do it anyway. So other arm. So this arm we're gonna put the shield on. So this this arm on here goes straight but I think we're gonna to have to put a little bit of a bend in it for the shield so what we're gonna do that one goes straight out so a bit of glue on the other side like this, like this. so put like this in here I'd say kick it out a little bit like that Looks like this, same again. And I want this out here. Take so. Right, I want this bit. Oop. Cut this piece off. And stick. I've never built anything on camera guys before so please excuse my crap video skills but you get the idea uh, so we're going to use this as well so I'm just going to tack glue this to the back of the shield so we know we've got a point of reference of where it's going so here glue this on here the temp if my glue will fix again there we go now we can fix this in this here as well so a bit of glue here tiny bit right there and then we want to fit this into here so this slides in there and attaches the like so. <coughs> so now I'd say this wants to go maybe ooh, never think like this and turn this round. <laughs> maybe like that? What do you think? Hmm. Not sure. Let's have a look. No. Maybe like that. So, bit of glue, tuck it in position. And 
getting camera moggy. where that shield is so what we can do because we tap this giant we can actually move this so it's like this well, maybe like that what do you think yep so we attack glue again activator So it looks a bit odd because he's not got his head in. So, like I said, it's just press fit. So, as soon as you put his head in, so you have to go that way. He starts. Looking like something. When you put his shoulder pads on. Do, 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 do. Like this. Like this. Come on, there you go. Put his arm in the right position. Oh, there you go. That's just me quickly. Jerry, you can take your time. It's took me 30 minutes to get to this point. Obviously, you got you've got your other plates that go on so so this is the point where you get this so it's all tacked together so now what you want to do get yourself a pen so pen 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 that works it out yeah pen here we go so so on this leg here because these two are separate parts you put a line here Put a line here. These two will line up again. Same with this point here. So you've got a line here, got a line there. This point here. So there to there. That gets you back your that position there. This one too. This joint here to here that joint this joint here put a line across there to there same with that one here to here d d d d come on pen work so all these points you line back up you do this with all the joints so you want a line here oh out of shot Buggy, you're a dick. Sorry, language. Line there. Line there. This front joint. So this lines this middle this middle piece here lines up with this line here. So same as here. So these joints oh, it should have put off. So you can put a line along here onto this joint. So that's what you do. You just put lines on every joint. Same with the arm joints, because this is separate with that one. You can put from this, put a line there, to here. So you just put lines everywhere you, where, you, where the joints are. So when you click it all apart, you just line your joints back up. And then you'll end up with the same pose. You get it. But you can, like I say, you can mess about with this, because it's only tack glued. You can just click it apart and click it. Blue tack's okay, but... They're always falling pieces and it's a pain in the ass. So if you do it this way, if you just tack glue it, pull it all apart, which as you can see, you will do. See? 
A few more wiggle. That bit comes off. That bit comes off. That bit comes off. Let's give all the joints a wiggle. We'll all come back apart. And when you've marked it, you like that there here, just mark that joint there to here. This one, line here to here. It all comes apart. And then you just glue it properly. And you're back to square one. So, I know this has been a really weird video, but I hope it's informative for you. And the next video I'm going to try and do when I come back from the weekend is I'm going to try and do a full painting uh, tutorial on a graph tank from start to finish. Uh, I don't know, I might split it up into two or three videos, but that's where I'm going from start to finish graph tank. So if you have any questions or ask me if you want me to do anything, give me a shout. I'll see what I can do. I know these videos can be a bit crazy, but I'm moggy. What can I say? So until next time, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye.